been organized by Kudumbashri, which is one of the largest foot women collective in the world, with uh, thousands of women being a part of this collective, is organizing a foot fest here at Tiruvannadapuram, the Kanakundu Palace in Tiruvannadapuram. So what they have planned here is a 14 district tour, Kerala's 14 districts, a 14 district tour showcasing the specific delicacies from each district. Now here, uh, let's show you this. This is uh, the famous biryani that's coming from Kerala, the Talasheri biryani, which has a lot of, uh, you know, which is loved by a lot of people. So you can see the crowd here specifically coming here to, you know, get a taste of this Talasheri biryani, which comes from the district of Kannur. So, uh, there are specific delicacies for which separate stores have been put up but otherwise it's a basically a tour through the 14 districts of Kerala with each district showcasing its specific delicacies. Uh, it's starting from Tiruvannandapuram with its specific specialities, what are the specific food items that people when come to Tiruvannandapuram will be waiting to have followed by Kollam, Iduki, Patanandita. Uh, Alapura, which is very, very popular for the seafood because Alapura, the backwaters, is one of the major tourist attractions also uh, in the uh, state. And you can see Alapura, as it is known as, is popular for the seafood delicacies uh, with the pearl sport fry, pearl sport fry, and uh, squid. All the seafood items, but that is what the focus here is. This is run by the women, a lot of women uh, from across the state. A women initiative that uh, Kudumbashri was an initiative by the state government many years ago to promote women as to promote women to make sure that they have a bit of earning even if they are not working at regular offices or something. So that was the whole aim. And uh, since then, the Kudumbashri has been a part of the state government uh, projects, organizing not just food fest, their presence is evident in every part and every sector of the state government initiatives. Now this is, we are moving to the Malabar side, which is very popular for its delicacies. Malabar is popular for, Malabar Kerala is popular for the uh, food delicacies, especially the biryanis that they make, as well as the hospitality, hospitality with food. That's something that the Malabar side of Kerala is very popular for. And uh, yes, you can see in the visuals, uh, the food items and people gathering right outside to, you know, get a taste of all of this because not every day you get to, living in Trivandrum, not every day you get to have the delicacies of the other districts in Kerala. And also, like I said, there's other spots that's the other stalls that's been put up. Now, th these are stalls that will have specific, uh, you know, references. Now, here you can see the bamboo store uh, stall put up. This is peculiar to Vayana districts, which has a lot of uh, tribal population and their way of making food is being portrayed in this particular stall. And uh, this is followed by the other delicacies. Like I said, there are four food fests that's happening right now in various locations. While this is organized by Kudumbashri, the other are organized by various organizations. Some of the famous food spots in the state has also come here and put up a, a put up set up small stores to showcase the specific delicacies from each part of Kerala. Now here, uh, the Karkida Kanyi, this is a specific healthy food item that's been spoken about. That's uh, had during the particular Malayala month of Karkidagam. And here is the Boli and Paisan. This is more like the um, Puran Poli of Maharashtra and the Obat.